Welcome to the Tucson Tasty Show, the tastiest show in Tucson. I'm your host, Wesley Source, here with Pastor John McLean. Whoa, whoa. You got a lot of energy there. Man. I, I, <laughs> what? I, I'm excited <laughs> to be here today. I'm tired. You, you are? Well, well here's now. some of my energy. There we go. Oh, I feel better. Hey, here we go. That's easy in Tucson. <laughs> the secret is stretching, but we'll talk about okay. that more in just a moment. Okay. Um, this is Pastor John McLean. Tell all right, in your veteran rescue mission. Yeah. Um. And, well, you're also of uh, Common Good Radio. Um. Mm-hmm. And Common Good Media Group, and uh, so many other. A uh, couple hats. things. A uh, couple things. Yeah. And <laughs> 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 tell us about. Uh, there's a very very important event that's coming up here. Um. In the first uh, first week and a half of November, and mm-hmm. uh, I want all the listeners to hear it about it as often as possible. I know they're going to hear about it in the next hour with you on your show, but tell us what's going on with Veteran Rescue Mission. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate you, one, giving me time to, to speak about it. Um, it's the Veteran Rescue Mission March to the VA, and this will be actually our first annual event like it. We um, Every year for 13 years now, we've been camping out on the streets to locate homeless veterans and connect them with housing, but um, this year from 11, November 11th to 13th, um, if you go to VeteranRescueMission.org, you can donate $22 per mile. We'll be, we'll be marching um, 22 miles toward the, the VA um, to connect homeless veterans with, with housing to mm-hmm. help prevent suicide and uh, homelessness. And on this march, I'll be leading it. Um, we'll be stopping at different homeless camps and providing need items, providing them with information about what services are available for them. And, and hopefully I'll, I'll talk uh, a few homeless veterans into joining me, going to the VA and getting connected with homeless services there. So Absolutely. yeah, I am blessed and honored to do it. Definitely for people who want to be involved or help in any way, um, veteranrescuemission.org is the way to do it. Thank you. And, and that's why it's so important. And actually three people in this room are uh, veterans. Yeah, so Army let's do, vet, we'll do drill afterwards. Yeah. And uh, Navy, I don't know the Navy, Air, Army, and Air Force could probably get away with the um, with the drill, but I don't know. About do you guys the do Navy. drill in the Navy? No, we do drill. Do Absolutely. drill. Okay, so yeah, so we'll do. Yeah, we fall in fall in line, and we'll do dress right dress and all the other fun stuff. Outstanding. <laughs> So uh, we do have a very special guest in the studio today. Uh, we have uh, Doctor Burnell, and uh, he's the stress uh, the stretch master mm. at. Uh, I'll let you tell everybody about. Uh, you this. could call me the stress master too. <laughs> 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 I'm stressed out. I, I'm stressed out thinking about stretching. So. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here, Wes and uh, Pastor McLean. Uh, I'm honored to be a guest on the show, and. Uh, Many people are catching on with the latest trend in natural and alternative health care, which is Mm -hmm. assisted stretching. And there's a difference. You know, people sometimes say, oh, well, I stretch in the mornings before I get up. Or people Mm -hmm. say, Mm -hmm. oh, well, um, I have my massage therapist. And those are wonderful things. I do not want to say anything bad about massage. Mm. We love it, too. I just got a massage with our wonderful dear friend laura who is at get fixed by laura a little plug for her too she's wonderful no no <laughs> cut that out engineer cut that out no, <laughs> no she's awesome and uh, and again and i stretch myself too but uh there's a huge difference when you get a professional targeting key muscles and getting that deep targeted stretch so assisted mm-hmm. stretch therapy mm-hmm. used to be uh only for elite athletes or uh, very very famous people they had their stretch therapist mm-hmm. would come in and mm-hmm. they would set mm-hmm. up their table and they would stretch them out actors and again famous people athletes mm. but um, it caught on it actually started on the east and west coast new york la right and when you know started kind of becoming more of a common theme and really when it hit home is after the pandemic after that people were so starved for human interaction human touch mm. but yet they were freaked out about going to the medical doctor or even to a <laughs> massage therapist where you're you know exposed and mm, right. and there's a, a lot of sick people yeah uh, so they started mm. going to stretch therapists nice and how can people get a hold of you if they want to feel like a movie star <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, they can call us. Our number is really easy to remember. It's 377-BACK. 377-B-A-C-K. Nice. 520-377-2225. Thank you so much for being here today, Dr. Burnell. I like that. Um, and today we have a very different uh, guest, actually. Uh, instead of a restaurant owner or a chef, uh, we actually have... Uh, a dog somebody- groomer. 
No, no, wait, what? <laughs> no, no, sorry. I yeah. do, I do mine. <laughs> you I'm going to take away dog? your microphone. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I had too much sugar today. <laughs> not not enough yet, yeah. uh, but we'll we'll talk about that <laughs> after the break on John's Tasty Bites. Uh, but no, um, it, you know, very important um, when you're going to eat, and that's being clean, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and what do you what do you clean your hands with? Soap. soap yeah and um it, and i think the smells also that's kind of that's almost like um, like dr Burnell was joking before the show you can't eat it necessarily but like a good smell like that is a l- large element when it comes to you know, food and culture so absolutely. that was well, you definitely can't, thing that you caught can't me. taste without smelling yeah and mm-hmm. uh it's actually one of the m- most important senses and then everything else kind of falls in line mm-hmm. after that but uh and you have some very interesting smells and you shared all of them with me my nose was broken for about 48 mm-hmm. hours Poor guy. um but <laughs> the coffee helped so <laughs> absolutely <laughs> and you sniff you sniff coffee grounds mm. not sure. up your nose but you smell the coffee grounds mm. Yeah, <laughs> you don't snort. Maybe, it's a th- maybe that's why I <laughs> was having a problem. I was sniffing. I sn- <laughs> snorting the coffee. Yeah, that's, well, that's not I think we're all old enough to remember when they used to put parsley on the side of the plate. Yes, mm-hmm. and it was a palate cleanser, right? Mm. And was so, it? Co- yeah, I that's what it was, it was just there's, before. There, and there's more. Was there's fret. more to it than that too. But yes, it's very important as a palate cleanser. Yeah, I, I so you were supposed to chew it. Like we all thought when we were little, like it's just there's a little green tree, right? But it was actually a palate cleanser in order so that you could taste the the next bite all the more, you know, accurately. So, and you're actually, uh, it's actually a very um, different uh, name for your company as well. And, uh, and I actually love this. And it's, uh, it's called Dirty Cactus Soap. Mm. Mm-hmm. Try to forget that now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because I can't even screw mm. that up. Right. <laughs> dirty cacti soap. And even cacti uh, get dirty. Dirty and soap in the same name. I love that. Well, right. what do you do perfect. when you get dirty? Yeah. You wash your or yeah. you wash with For soap. Awesome. And uh, It's she, almost like the cactus is the filter to make that happen. <laughs> you know yeah. what? I mean, that does bring up yeah. a good point. Yeah. Uh, because I make all of my soap with fresh local aloe. Interesting. Oh, there it yeah. is. Beautiful. Yeah. Hey, and a lot a of cactus. people, you know, oop, yeah, exactly. It's technically a succulent, but everybody else in the world not from, you know, a desert area, oh, thinks it's a fair. cactus, yeah. right? So it works. And it's very dirty. You know, yeah. when they sit outside, they are. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I actually had the, the pleasure of sitting down, um, me and um, me and Wesley, this, that's his name. We, <laughs> we, we sat down <laughs> at the, the Bear Down Kitchen. The other guy. To do a review <laughs> um, the other day, and he was showing me some of your products and the, the geo- geodes. Absolutely. Um, soap. Yeah. And then the different, um, like, car air fresheners that you have yeah um it was just all so unique and amazing and beautiful it looked edible every single piece of it you tell us about it so so many people actually say oh my gosh like if i bought this i wouldn't use it right um Mm. which is sad because it's like you know we work hard for our money definitely a piece of art absolutely right i and i love that people uh, you know respect it that much in order to think that it is a piece of art however um i think you know we work hard for our money and we a lot of the times we don't get to kind of spoil ourselves very often, right? Mm, So when we do go for a massage or we do go for something that is, um, you know, care for our bodies, that's wonderful. But a lot of times people can't work that in on a regular basis, right? So if every morning you could take, you know, a hot shower for whether that's three minutes if you're a mom or, you know, 15 minutes if you have a little bit more time, right? If you could spoil yourself with something beautiful that smells amazing, then you feel like you're spoiling yourself a little bit every day, right? Mm -hmm. And so for me, I really, you know, I resonate with Tucson culture and I think, wow, there's a lot of people who make soap, but they kind of smell similar to like a patchouli, you know, like mm. like you're kind of going to walk into those type is, of but stores. It sounds really cool, patchouli. Well, patchouli. It's, if, I don't. if you think about like the incense, you know, the the more it's hippie like kind of, you know, yeah. So okay. there's there's actually a store in uh, up in La Encantada, and uh, you walk by it and you can feel it. Uh, I hate that smell. Uh, I'll be honest, <laughs> well, it literally really? makes me itch. It's, yeah. So itch. that particular <laughs> store, people compare me to often. Um, I definitely but, not. Yeah, that. but it's definitely funny because that. when when people walk by, you know, when I have an event, they go, oh my God, I can smell it from here. And I go, but you're smelling 30 from here. Mm. Like you're not smelling <laughs> the individual ones, which mm. I think is a shame. And so I always tell people free smells. Like even if you come and you, you know, stop and you smell the soap and you smell the air fresheners, at least you have the opportunity to, to smell them individually. Right. Mm, and right. then of course you can cleanse your palate with the coffee. Um, but so I make the soap um, really Tucson inspired, like not only because of the fresh local aloe that I literally, you know, cut and peel and, you know, right. put that in there, mm-hmm. but also I make them gem so inspired. 
Oh, which so, is really cool. Yeah. And so I, I realized that I was kind of missing the market in my freshies and they weren't really gem show inspired. Mm. They were cute. Don't get me wrong. Right. Mm -hmm. The little cacti cute. and Too little cute. hearts and, you know, fun stuff like that. But they weren't really showcasing that. And so oh. I actually put little chips of the actual rocks in there and oh, created wow. geodes so that they do actually have the rocks in there. So That's the cool. soap has fake rocks made out of soap mm. <laughs> and the geodes actually have real rocks <laughs> made so out of cool. normal rocks. <laughs> and we do have some of the, the freshies. Is that yes. right? We have some of those freshies coming and it's going to be our logo, which is really cool. But the scent that I uh, that we got mm -hmm. and everybody's got to try it because it is probably one of the best um, apple pies that I've ever smelled. Like I, 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 during, uh, during, she saved it for the last. So <laughs> she tormented me with, no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Twisted and, his arm. There was like 24 different smells that we went through and then she goes, okay, but I, I have this jar. You've got to try. This is the last one, I promise. And and I pretty much wanted to climb inside that jar and live in there for the rest of the conversation. He uh, definitely kept um, it close by. <laughs> and yeah, just yeah. You know, making sure. But um, when you when you smelled it, it was like biting into a piece of apple pie. Nice. And you had all the fl or the flavors and everything else. My mouth's I, watering right now thinking uh, about it. Yeah. Man, the cinnamon, I don't know if she's the, a, uh, every, the apple, a soap everything. mad scientist or a soap <laughs> superhero, Probably. but either way, I, you got me. Soap is I'm triggering. In. It's yeah. the one thing that those memories trigger, right? Yeah. Well, I am Wesley Source, your host of the Tucson Tasty Show. We'll be right back. Uh, special thank you to our sponsors. That's Kiki Rogers with Country Financial Insurance, Vera Earl Premium B, that's vepremiumbeef.com, ERC Junction, Veteran Rescue Mission, Pitcher Rock, uh, Pitcher Rocks, Cooling, Heating, Plumbing. And, uh, of course, we have Dirty Cactus Soap Absolutely. with us here today. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. And, uh, of course, uh, we'll be right back. And here's some more from our sponsors. Uh, stay Tasty Tucson. Mm -hmm. I'm John. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back to the Tucson Tasty Show. I'm your host, Wesley Source, with Pastor John McClain, and mm -hmm. together we are the Tucson Tasty That's Show. That's correct. With our powers combined. <laughs> yeah. With our powers combined. <laughs> and um, we have a very uh, special John's Tasty Bites, and it is the premiere of John's Tasty Bites, brought to you by Sean Smiley with ERC Junction. How are mm -hmm. you doing today, Sean? Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, and I can't wait to see you every week. I, yeah. I'm actually really excited about that uh, I know. because you're you're one of my favorite people. So. And, and and there's he's one of the only people I know that has an even richer, cooler radio voice than you. So yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> that's the reason I. What we are you talking about, John? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, absolutely. And um, so tell us about, a little bit about uh, ERC Junction before we get started with yeah, John so, Stacy Bites. So ERC stands for the Employee Retention Credit. Yep. And uh, it's a fun job because I have business owners get money back from the IRS. Instead of paying it, they get the money back. How and much does it cost to get a, a interview with you? Uh, we we do that no charge. What and it's free? Yeah. So what we do is we'll we'll do a review, and if for some reason they don't qualify to get any money back, then there's absolutely no cost. Outstanding. Yeah. Nothing that's a win-win, hey, I Definitely. think. Uh, yeah, Definitely. no, that's, <laughs> that's awesome. Well, thank you for being here today. So with John's Tasty Bites brought to you by ERC Junction, the place to expand your culinary horizons. Uh, we have a little bit of a different uh, situation in the mm -hmm. studio today. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not going to eat the soap. Uh, no I think that's frowned upon. Uh, I don't think that our stomachs unless, would probably appreciate that Unless you have a potty mouth, then you have to eat the soap. So... Watch your mouth, bud. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Pastor. <laughs> That's what my dad, um, my dad always says that to me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so it being my favorite part of the show, I actually went out and found something, and uh, I'm actually working to bring them on the show. And uh, one of the most popular places in Tucson to get uh, a culinary uh, confection. Okay. Um, and Ooh, uh, these words. Okay, Mr. <laughs> Big Words. I, I read the dictionary this morning. Nice. I apologize. Well done. Um, <laughs> uh, but it is uh, well. It's a secret in the in the box here. Yeah, I am. What's in the box? I'm opening been, up the box. He's been hiding it from me for the past and, like hour and a half now. Um, so I'm proud of it. I even I, I I put something that rolled around in it, so it shook a little. Okay. Went, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> you missed that part. I was like this is raw. This is La Estrella, uh, Estrella's Bakery. They have two locations. Um, one is on Twelfth in uh, Irvington. The other one is over um, in Augustine Square, uh, next to my or one of my favorite coffee places, uh, and that's Presta Coffee. Okay. Um, so I get a coffee and I go get a donut. 
Um, but uh, the, they have pumpkin. I got some pumpkin pie and panadas. Uh, there is a mango in there, so good luck. Um, okay. Just one. So everyone that I've seen come out so far is still pumpkin. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it's it's really good. If you have you been to La Estrella Bakery? I have. Yeah. Have yeah. you been to La Estrella Bakery? No, I have not. You have not lived. I don't think I'm I have looking either. Forward to trying and like, it. and looking at this, so like, it just reminds me. One, I feel like we we need to be more specific with people because we always call it John's Tasty Bite, but then you guys give me like twenty different things to try from. Like, give me one to choose from. Am I? Which am I? Have you ever been to La Estrella Bakery? I've never. You have never. Never. Okay, so the one that they're going to recommend is the one that's closest to you. That looks like a bun. Yep, and that's okay. a donut. Okay. And um, it's yeah, that's, that's that's John's tasty bite. And what is this called? Is that the concha? It is. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to John's tasty bite is a concha. It looks like like um, like she said, it looks like a, a shell, a, a crusty little shell, and it looks um nice and fluffy. And um, yeah, I'm gonna take a bite. Let's do it. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like marshmallow bread. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm. That's a good way of describing I like it uh, because it's a sweet bread and then it has that, uh, the frosting. And, mm-hmm. uh, I'm going to pass those around to our guests so yep. they can have some. And I even uh, got some of those mini donuts that they have because if you can't, if, if, you, if you only can have one donut, why not get three small donuts and then it's still one donut? One donut, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if they're my, two bites each. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my absolute favorite, though, you are is the pumpkin genius. epananas. Um, and uh, and then they have this ginger cookie. Uh, it's like gingerbread, oh, wow. but this it's really really soft. It's a um, mellow flavor too. It is. Oh yeah, they're not usually as strong. Well, I saw chocolate covered, so I grabbed that. Mm. Yeah, you look like a chocolate covered type of guy. <laughs> it's not as strong, but you're mm. right. It's it's just right. And um, now I need milk um, <laughs> <laughs> or coffee <laughs> or coffee. Actually, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, no. So La Estrella uh, Bakery. Uh, the conches come in more colors, don't they? Hmm? The conches come in different colors too, mm-hmm. don't they? They do. They have yeah. a strawberry. They have a uh, they have a pink one. They have a, they have different flavors as well as colors. I think the pink ones colors. are so pretty. Uh, they, they are <laughs> fun. Um, but yeah. marshmallow, marshmallow bread, bread. Uh, I love it. That's what that's what they should call it. I don't know why they call it that other thing. <laughs> 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 so yeah, awesome. And then. Back to our our guests with the with the dirty desert soap. The cleanest <laughs> woman in town. How's that? Right. Or what, what is, that, is that the name? Right. No, dirty cactus. <laughs> dirty yeah, I was, close. <laughs> I was super close. Yeah, usually, um, usually Wesley is the one who butchers businesses' names. I'm the person name butcher, but um. I mean, it is desert inspired. Dirty cactus soaps. That, that I, I messed up so people will remember it better. There you so, go. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I know we wanted to touch on. I don't know. I, I keep hearing it. And I know I'm gonna. I'm gonna mess up even explaining it because it seems like such a foreign idea. Make using beer to make soap. Absolutely. I, so I feel, I feel like I actually explained it right. Did I explain that right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So <laughs> what people don't realize is that when you use beer um, to make soap, you actually have to boil it to make sure the alcohol is out. Mm-hmm. But the sugar content actually makes a super bubbly, amazing bar of soap. And since Tucson has amazing breweries, what better partnership? Right. Right. Mm. And so I want to actually um, start working with more breweries to be able to use their particular blends and then bring in some of the herbs and some of the flavors and some of the things that they really stand for in order to really design those bars of soap so mm-hmm. that it really reflects our Tucson culture again. Mm. Can you imagine getting some monkey shine soap? I couldn't. And you shower with it every morning. <laughs> I mean, that's a win-win. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> exactly. And so some people, you know, they, they go, oh, well, I don't want the beer soap. You know, if they're particularly religious, sometimes they're like, I don't want beer soap. And I'm like, there's there's no alcohol left in it or no. anything like that. I mean, it wouldn't be that part that bothers me. What blows my mind about all of this is just like, I was a fuel and water chemist in the military. And everything you're telling me, it just boggles my mind. The science of it, I have no under no understanding there whatsoever. There is. There is so, so. much science behind mm-hmm. it. And so, I mean, everybody <laughs> that knows that I make soap always talks about uh, Fight Club 
right? Like we don't talk about Fight Club, you know, because mm-hmm. they have the lie. Mm. And lie really is what. But we used. don't talk about Fight Club. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and so sure. we'll skip that and just and go straight to the, the lie. But that's where the black eye comes from, but, though. Well, I mean, that's what the burn comes from <laughs> for sure. And so generally speaking, you know, soap can be a scary thing if you don't understand the science behind it. So you have to definitely have a respect for it. But in that respect, there's so much creativity that's possible. Mm. And I really didn't want to make soap that's just like every other bar of soap. I wanted to make something that really reflected Tucson. So between mm-hmm. using Tucson breweries, breweries excuse me, um, and uh, uh, aloe, as mm-hmm. well as mm-hmm. the different scents that really reflect our Tucson culture. So instead of using something like patchouli, I do pineapple cilantro or right. citrus cilantro, or I'll do... Um, a, a one that's called like Havana heat. So it smells like the desert. I have one called mm-hmm. desert blooms. It is floral, but it's not like you walk into a florist. I mm. smelt all of these. The other mm-hmm. day. Was, yeah. uh, they were, they are, they are quite amazing. Um, I've never, I've different. never heard anybody brag about smelling stuff before. <laughs> 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 so where do you sell these? So I have, um, definitely a, uh, a website, of course, that's, um, www dirtycactussoaps.com um, mm. and then I also have Facebook and Instagram that you can check everything out so if you want to see everything you want to kind of scroll through without smelling you're going to lose half the fun don't get yeah. me wrong but uh, you can definitely half, see everything sure. yes um, but then I also sometimes am at um, different events as well as at the swap meet so mm. I will mm-hmm. be at an event tomorrow um, it's called Her Witchy Ways which is going to be at mm. the Moxie which is a right. downtown um, Tucson it's a collaboration of people who do different modalities. Right. And so they're going to be doing little spell jars and there's going to be photography and, and um, uh, chair massages and really great opportunities. And so it has kind of a Halloween theme without being Halloween. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, and um, so we can find you on Facebook. Absolutely. And I, I, every time I've looked at your Facebook page, I just get lost because uh, the, the soaps look absolutely incredible. In fact, mm-hmm. I would probably not even believe that there were soap until you showed it to me and said, yeah, no, that's the soap. And um, and, and it's it, she's actually kind of fun to hang out with, too, because she pulls out these little bars of soap. Hey, smell <laughs> this, smell this, smell this. <laughs> nice. And um, But you got to check it out. And um, Yeah, and I guess so, less... Um, give Sean one more chance to l- let Absolutely. people know how they can plug in with ERC and um, primarily like even you know you're, you're sitting here um, you know next to to that oh man, I'm messing with dirty cactus soaps um, you know uh, you know how make a pitch to them real quick right yeah so uh, when, when did you start your company and do you have any w2 employees not quite yet so I started okay. about two years ago mm-hmm. and um, I'm just actually getting ready to that be that point where I can hire people. Gotcha. So I'm super excited to be able to have, you know, people that can help me do these things mm-hmm. and also really build up, uh, you know, younger people in Tucson to be able to kind of learn a craft because that's kind of okay. being lost, right? Right. So for businesses to qualify for the employee retention credit, they have, have to have, have employees. Had <laughs> W-2 employees during 2020 and or 2021. Absolutely. Mm. Uh, there's four main ways to qualify. I don't think we have time to go through that today. You can reach me at my mobile number, 520-576-3524, or Sean, which is S-E-A-N, at ERCJunction.com. Right. And I also pay a lot of money to people for referrals. Awesome. So you may not get the employee retention credit for your business, but if you know businesses who could, mm-hmm. then I pay handsomely for those referrals. Yeah. Wonderful. Or, he's, or he pays mind. pretty, whichever one you prefer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, tell us again one more time, how uh, how can we get a hold of you? Yeah, my mobile is 520-576-3524. You're not going to get uh, just an answering service. You're going to get me directly. Awesome. And my email is my first name, Sean, S-E-A-N, at ERCJunction.com. Awesome. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining us today on the Tucson Tasty Show. We look forward to seeing you the same time next week. And uh, next week, we're going to have Zio Pepe. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't wait um, mm-hmm. for them to come on the show. And um, hopefully we get both of the uh, Matt and uh, Devin because uh, Devin's, uh, he was the Iron Chef uh, that he went. Anyways, we'll go into that. Um, Local legend. Thank you so much uh, for our special guest coming in, uh, Kelly with uh, Dirty Cactus Soap. And thank you to our sponsors, Kiki Roger Country Financial Insurance, Ferrero Premium Beef, Veteran Rescue Mission, Pitcher Rocks Cooling, Heating and Plumbing, and of course, Dirty Cactus 